American abroad collecting currency abroad. Thought I would show you some $1 star notes. Also thought I'd share with you guys a little bit about the German political system. There's many, many parties. They have to get a 5% mandate or 5% vote uh, quota from the populace to get into the Bundestag or basically into the parliament, into the legislative parliament. Uh, they had a very interesting ask Frau Merkel any question and it obviously was not really uh, her minders, I guess you could say, or the people attending the questions must have not either done a good job or maybe it really truly was an open one. And a lady just confronted Merkel and said, hey, in Bayern, uh, according to the Bayern criminal uh, like investigative body there and like politicians there, that there's been a 50% increase of rapes, sexual assaults in Bayern in 2016 versus 2015, which is a pretty large amount when you really think 50% has nothing to do with the refugees, has nothing to do with the fact that most of them are uh, men here alone without any women or no prospect or no perspective of ever finding a woman. And then they went on to basically say that um, this lady confronted Miracle and said, yeah, 90% of those increases are actually uh, were committed by foreigners, which actually I take offense to because I'm also a foreigner in Germany. Why don't they say who those foreigners were? Because that would be a lot more uh, interesting to see who and where are those people from? I highly doubt it's Americans that are causing the increase of 50% more rapes. It was great though. They said that, well, these are statistics. Anyone could be making these up. We'll look into it. That's what the journalist said during the like uh, interview. And for the rest of the news program, they never came back to that theme and never said if it was true or not. So I'm assuming it was true that the people found out that it was true when they did a little investigation behind the scenes as the interviews were going on with Miracle. And they basically just tried to cover it up in that sense that they're not going to release and give her the confirmation, the lady who asked the question, and basically uh, support her uh, question and say, yep, it really is that way. So it was really interesting. You gotta think about that. 50% more rapes here in Bayern in Bavaria where I'm at compared to last year and 90% uh, of the rapes are committed by foreigners. So if that's not troubling, then I don't know what is. But back to US dollar notes. Even if this video gets flagged, I really don't care. Um, I found these. I like the sevens in this note. These are just regular $1 star notes. This note, however, is not a star note. I have a little surprise for you guys. It's 01096010. If you look at that, it's a true flipper note. 01090109 if you flip it around like this. 01090106. But if you flip it around, then it just becomes a 9 again. So this, as soon as I saw that in the middle and I saw those matching, those matching, those matching, I knew I had something special. This note right here is a, another star note from 2006, San Francisco. San Francisco. This is a Chicago Windy City note here, 2003. Really rough shape. And this is an oldie here, 2001, signed by Paul H. O'Neill. He actually went to bat for the people against Bush and was against the Iraq invasion and was against what Bush was doing and had to resign ultimately for it. They forced him to resign. Uh, and this is a K note. Ooh, K, I believe that's a Dallas or Kansas City note. So these notes will be going into my regular star note collection from non low print runs. These are all 3.2 million or all in the millions here. So I'm gonna put this together with those notes and uh, keep these because like I said, star notes at some point are no longer going to be printed and these guys will be going to this little stack right here that I have of just totally normal star notes here. So thanks for watching guys, thanks for listening to my political diatribe here and I hope that you guys are staying safe out there and if you're visiting Germany as a female or if you're anyone is sending a, a young juvenile female to Germany, uh, make sure they get some pepper spray. Thanks a lot guys for watching, bye bye.